Hello everyone, welcome back to Droop Drives. Today, we're going for a drive in this 2022 Subaru Outback Touring. This has a 2.4 liter or 5 liter four cylinder with 186 horsepower, I believe. Something along that. And you have a continuously variable transmission. You have a wireless charging tray in this Touring. You have heated and ventilated seats as well. Plus you have a heated steering wheel. The seats are extremely comfortable. I like how com I really you feel comfortable in this seat right now. Armin Kardon sound system. And yeah, just the interior touches are pretty nice in this Touring. The leather wrap steering wheel feels really soft. I wish I had a digital gauge cluster, but I don't think I, I don't think any Subarus actually have a digital gauge cluster. And here's your Starlink Subaru system. You have to access your AC stuff from here and your heated and ventilated seats can be turned on through that as well. Back seats look nice as well. And here's your sunroof. The biggest complaints that most people have, including myself with most Subarus and this one is the CVT is pretty bad. And I'm not surprised by that. I think many Subarus, the, uh, the biggest demerit of Subarus is a continuously variable transmission. They have potential to be fun to drive, but they're not because of the CVT. Because like, I mean, you don't even have to be a car enthusiast or anything, but I'm sure a lot of people enjoy driving, like to enjoy driving their cars, even if they're not car people. But the CVT does not allow that. Like, look. It's just so laggy. It feel, I, the thing with CVTs is it, it just feels wrong. Like It feels something's wrong with the car whenever you go under hard acceleration just because of how bad it sounds. And I know CVTs aren't supposed to sound good, but that's a problem. But as far as CVTs goes, I know C, uh, Subaru CVTs are a lot better than the ones that you would find in a Nissan. Honda and Subaru CVTs are a lot better than Nissan ones, luckily. Subaru seems to have figured out the CVT game. But the ride is comfortable. Seats, as I said, are really comfortable. I'm impressed with how comfortable the seats are. This definitely feels like a luxury car interior, even though this is not a luxury brand. I really like it as far as comfort. And Subarus are very popular. You know, Outbacks especially. I know a lot of, I know people, uh, they have like, uh, like a cult following. A lot of people who buy Outbacks just keep buying Outbacks. Subarus, Subaru has a very loyal uh, client base. Clients always come back and buy Subarus. And I know their safety ratings are really high as well. Reliability is pretty good from as far as I know. But I'd say with this car, yeah, I, with all Subarus, I made a video on an Ascent recently and the CVT was once again the biggest demerit of the vehicle. Everything felt good in the car and all that, but the CVT just sucks. And like, if you're not a car person, like if you just want like a reliable, comfortable car, the Subarus are nice for sure. But if you're someone who enjoys driving, you're not going to find enjoyment in driving this thing at all. At least in my opinion. It accelerates decently quickly, but that lag is horrific. Like, I just took my foot off the brake. It lags and lurches forward, lurches forward. Continuously. It just, there's no rhythm to this uh, transmission. The car feels like it's pondering what it's going to do next, which is not a good thing at all. Brakes feel good. Glad I was able to test that. Yeah, you see that lurching? That lurchiness is not good. I'm not impressed with that. I'm already sick of the. I'm already sick of that. Uh, the dynamics of this transmission and this short five-minute drive or whatever I've done so far. I can't imagine daily driving this and having to deal with that crap all day. Subaru has got to stop using CVTs eventually. 
I think CVTs shouldn't even exist. They're horrible. But yeah, I'm not trying to dog on this car or anything because as I told you, I do really like this uh, interior. Everything feels great in here and I'm very impressed with that. At this price point, it's not a luxury car, but it feels like a luxury car in here. I'm, I really, really like these materials. Everything feels good. I don't really feel like a lot of cheap stuff is in here or anything like that. But let's go for a quick walk around of the car. This is brown on brown. Interesting color combo for sure. But I know there are a lot of people out there who like the brown on brown interiors, uh, exterior interior. I see a lot of Subarus with this color combo. So I'm assuming it must be popular. Touring XT. You have a cargo mat in the trunk. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.